Check this out. As I'm setting out light traps, I see this beautiful tree snail. What colors in the thing, man? That's awesome. It's a pretty big animal too. It's, it's a good inch and a half from tip to tip, I would imagine. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to put out light traps, guys. This trail is always produced a lot for me. So I don't know what it is. I, I'm sure it's the diversity of vegetation. It's very mature tropical hardwood hammock, pretty big trees. Uh, this actually used to be a pathway to an illegal cockfighting arena back in the 70s, I think. Um, and so... If you've seen some of my other videos, I've talked about it a little bit, but pretty cool history in uh, North Key Largo, if you ever come to know it. Uh, there's not a lot here, just except hammock now, but you know they've done a great job restoring the habitat from the places where it's been messed up. But anyway, um, I set these bucket light traps along the trail, and it's always produced some interesting things. And so I got trap number one ready with the photocell. As soon as the sun goes down, that'll go on. And then, you know, the trick with this is, you know, you're using fluorescent lights that glow pretty brightly at night. So you get people driving by. It's a public road right here. You always got to try and hide them. So there's this, there's this big spool thing. I think they use, I don't know what they use it for, but they, I see them back here. They must use it for something. Um, I'm going to use that as a block so that people from the road can't see it super easy. But, um, you know, I've already got, I've already got our uh, traps juiced up with uh, ethyl acetate. And now it's just a matter of, of just getting the uh, connectors on. Uh, hopefully that's always concerning. Uh-oh. Huh. Bulb? All right, no good, hold on a sec. All right, so I must have grabbed the wrong battery. The one I grabbed wasn't fully charged, so um, we got one trap. The other one's down there on the photo cell. This one does not have a photo cell. And then I already hooked up this one down here. So you can see how it glows. I mean, it's not even dark yet. And it's starting to glow iridescent blue, fluorescent blue. But sun's going to be going down here in the next half hour, so it's going to start catching bugs. Here we go, guys. I'll see you in the morning, and I'll let you know how we do. All right, guys. This is the contents of our three traps. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of live beetles that must have came in late at night. And um, they don't. it doesn't help your moth situation, but not a lot of moths in, in light traps, guys. We got a few things like some of these um, Heterocampa Zyasi. Um, I got a few things in here. It's got this big geometrid. Um, there was a uh, Luska Sphinx. I mean, really not a whole lot, guys. But what I can do while I have you guys is... I can go through some of this pile. I haven't gone through the whole pile yet, but what I'm trying to do is pull out the obvious longhorn beetles and moths that I have interest in, or if there's anything kind of special about any of the bugs here, if I can notice it, with a quick glance, then I'll pull them out. The rest of it just goes to um, one of my friends who's a beetle expert. He'll have a lot better time with this pile than I am. Because so the moths are just trashed. Look, there's a, oops. Nice longhorn beetle with spots. It's pretty cool. There's a nice green geometric. Keep that one. Got um, 
Alanthius webworm. Cool moth. Add, add a species to the list for today. You'd be surprised what you'll find in this. So you gotta make sure you don't, just because you don't see any big things right off the bat, make sure you don't just toss it because there might be some hidden gems in here. Uh, here's a groat sphinx, sphinx moth. And I'm going through this pretty quickly, guys, because I actually have to get on the road. But uh, a lot of, you know, I would typically spend a little bit more time going through this pile. Yellow pyralid. White pyralid. Oh yeah, look. This is a cool moth, guys. This is a gemmed geometrid. They're absolutely gorgeous. That's a cool one for the for the record books. Yeah, see that bug was just hidden in this mess and if I wasn't careful could have lost a really cool moth like that heterocampa zyassi A lot of the moths are so badly worn from the beetles that you can't even recognize what species they are. That's, that kind of sucks. It is what it is, man. be able to identify that we'll see looks like that's about it guys so oh wait there's a little salt marsh pyralid i'll show you this on uh, another video guys what some of this stuff is but um there's some there's these little ethmias these little uh Pyralids with the little black spots on them. I'll take a couple of those. Let's make sure I get a couple mounted. So that's about it. Uh, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Um, this is a lot of bugs. <laughs> I'll be going to somebody for further research. I uh, hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, we look forward to seeing... Uh, Get out there and enjoy South Florida, guys. Oh, wait, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. That's a cool one right there. Yellow and pink. Almost missed him. Sweet. All right, guys. Ciao for now. Until next time, let's get out there and find some cool bugs.